This consumer unit is celebrating his 21st birthday. <laughs> and after a recent EICR, it was recommended to the owner of this property, who's 83 years old, that they have this consumer unit replaced. However, we're not gonna replace it, but we are gonna improve the installation. And I'd like your thoughts in the comments. Is this a solution you think you, you might use in the future, or would you still go down the route of telling the customer they need to spend a thousand pounds on a new consumer unit? <laughs> Before we remove the cover and reveal whether it's a decent job or not from dressing point of view, I noticed the smoke detectors are here on the own six amp MCB, and that probably was a practice in the past. Is that something you still carry on doing? Or would you have the smoke detector circuit on one of the lighting circuits? I have inspected the smoke detectors in a well in day, which gives me another good piece of information when I'm considering leaving this in situ. I'm gonna knock off all the power now so I can turn it off in order to remove the cover. No one misses these type, do they? These blanks here. Main switch, and now we can take the cover off. Now for the big reveal. That doesn't look too bad. One new circuit looks like it's been added there because of the colours. And this was done 21 years ago, so probably the last ever job done in red and black. I've got my approved voltage indicator here, but no proving unit. So this gives me a great opportunity to use the live part of the switch here to prove that my test instrument is working correctly. If I'm going to connect first of all onto the earthing conductor, and then it's on to the line connection. And I see you have a voltage off the line connection. And then we're going to go on to the neutral. We get a continuity beep, but no voltage off the neutral. Okay, and now I'm gonna test between the neutral and line connection. And again, I have that voltage present. So I've proved that my test instrument now is working correctly without the use of a proving unit. So I'm gonna take this one off and I'm gonna prove the bottom section in exactly the same way is now isolated. Happy to use it now, exactly the same process. So this time onto the earthing conductor in the bottom of the switch. And we are now isolated off the line connection and onto the neutral. So when we go onto the neutral, we're still disconnected. Off the neutral, off the protective conductor, now to the bottom of the switch. And we're gonna go neutral first and line connection, and we have a fully isolated board. I just proved again that this was working on the obviously top of the switch. However, this part is still live. And in the next part of the video, I'm gonna show you a tip that I do in order that I don't accidentally come in contact with these. If you do want some additional instructions on safe isolation, I've left two video links for CPDs that are free in the actual description of this video, so you can brush up on your knowledge on there. So what I normally do is put a piece of sticky mini trunking across. I haven't got any at the minute, so I've got a piece of capping. Because when I'm checking these screws for the required torque, setting i don't want to accidentally go onto the two that are actually live so i've got a bit of insulating tape here to stick it on i'm just going to bring that into position and just stick it there so what i'm doing now is looking for signs of thermal damage now apart from the alarm circuit nothing's been added as an additional load to this installation we haven't got an ev charge or any high load current things like electric showers it's exactly the same bar one circuit as it was when it was first installed i'd love to now confirm the torque settings a return correctly before I put the final piece of the jigsaw together that I believe can maintain the life of this installation. Now I'm just going to do them up to the required torque setting. As you can tell how hot and sweaty I am, I've backed off all the remaining screws in here and returned those to the required torque setting using the exact same principle. The only two connections I can't do is lying a neutral on top of the main switch because they're still live. I don't recommend having one hand behind your back as you try and do those two. Have supported the tail so they can't move and we haven't um, nudged them or adjusted them at any point either. So they should be in exactly the same position they were when they were installed. But now it's the final piece of magic. So I'm going to introduce one of these, a mouse stick, in order that we have fire suppression now built into the actual consumer unit itself. We're worried about plastic consumer units, we're worried about fire. Haven't had one for 21 years, check tightened everything. I think this will be the last level of support that the actual consumer unit will need. Nice little sticker there, so we can leave that on the front to say when it was installed. And then we have the mouse stick as well, which has got a nice little bit of sticky back on the back. So we'll just peel that away and we'll stick that to the inside of the consumer unit lid. You can see how the mouse stick now will sit in this gap here. It won't cause any issues at all. And only if it's activated will it obviously the work. It's a little passive device in there that we'll leave in there. With the mouse stick in place, now I'm going to just put the consumer unit cover back on. Oh, it takes me a minute. It's quite satisfying putting that on. Just going to re-energize the consumer unit now. Looks like the only thing in this area that's getting warm is me as I'm sweating bullets. Is the mouse stick a solution that you might use when you come across a plastic consumer unit rather than maybe putting an invoice in for a thousand pounds? Again, leave those comments below. But if you want to work out whether a house or a property needs a rewire, check out the video on screen now.